Technologies and GIS for Tourism and Coastal Management. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, our work is integrated analysis of Mel Island using GIS for tourism and management and coastal management. And this, uh, and we are presenting you the prelim preliminary results. So, in, uh, introduction of the study area. The Mel Island is uh, located at the Paranaguá Estuarine Complex uh, Mount and it divides the, this mount in two, uh, two channels which is the north <coughs> channel and the north and the Galetas channel in the south and the Galeta, Galeta channel is the main access to the ports inside the estuary and uh, Ilha do Mel is a very important tourist uh, destiny in Paraná and it also has uh, two conservation units so it makes the, the island um, to, to have several um, problems with the uh, use because tourism and conservation are uh, usually conflicts and uh, also there are several uh, Erosive processes happening in the isthmus, which is here, and this isthmus links the northwest side of the, this island with the southeast, and several works uh, talk about this, this erosion processes, and uh, there are dredging and activities in the Galetas Channel and uh, in the channels to to the tourist decks in Mel Island to keep the, the drift, the safe drift for navigability. So the, the main objective in this project is to create a database to be uh, used to provide suicide for coastal line and urbanization monitoring uh, for management purposes. So the methodology, we had uh, aerial photographies, uh, order photographies, and we uh, worked with this in the GIS software to obtain the coastline and uh, the urban occupation areas and with this uh, to see the variation in these areas. The results and discussion in the, about the coastline area, uh, we, we see uh, this, this, sorry. Ah, it's not, it's not coming back. <laughs> okay. In this, this orange uh, shows the, the, the area for 2003 and the, the green one for 1980 and we see there was um, a variation and uh, a retrogradation predominance in, this, in these areas and also uh, there was a growth of this area here and uh, in the eastern we, we had a loss of area. The uh, buildings and urbanizations in 1980, uh, from 1980 to 2003, we have uh, an increase in the urban occupation. Uh, the buildings in 1980 in the, the urban area is shown in, in red, in, in green, and uh, in 2003 is in orange, the orange areas. And the Isthmus, and the Isthmus area, in 1980, this, this green, this shows the, the area of the Isthmus. There used to be uh, houses in these places and schools. And so we can see here that there was a uh, retrogradation and from 1920 to 1980 to, to 2003. And the, the orange area shows the, the year 2003, and the, the purple shows the, the year 2009, which is a picture that we have uh, only this, this, this place. And we have, uh, from 2003 to 2009, we can see a progradation for dominance. And we can see also there is um, a migration in direction to the, to the west. 
So uh, conclusions, pre preliminary results so show that uh, heterogradation domains from 1980 to 2003, urbanization uh, raised from 1980 to 2003, and in the Istimus area we saw a heterogradation domain from 1980 to 2003, and prolongation occurred from 2003 to 2009, and we saw the tendency to the Istimus to migrate to west. Thank you.